Good evening. The government is out of the car business. Late today, we learned that the Treasury sold off the last of its General Motors shares at a loss to taxpayers of more than $10 billion. It was four years ago, at the height of the Great Recession, that President Obama decided to bail out the bankrupt automaker, ordering GM to overhaul its operations and saving hundreds of thousands of jobs. Now, GM is not only making cars, but profits. Here's senior business correspondent Anthony Mason. The auto industry was headed for a disastrous crash in 2009 when the government made the controversial decision to take over General Motors. One of the first decisions that I made as president was to save the U.S. auto industry from collapse. Taxpayers would invest $49.5 billion to keep GM afloat. With the sale of the last of its GM stock today, the government's made back $39 billion, a more than $10 billion loss. Saving Chrysler cost another $1.2 billion. But Steve Ratner, the car czar who headed the president's auto task force, said in a Sunday morning interview in 2010, it was well worth it. What do you think would have happened if we hadn't saved GM? Those two companies together, you would have lost a million jobs instantly. It would have been an economic disaster beyond all comprehension. In all of its bailouts to Wall Street and Detroit, the government's recovered $432.7 billion after paying out $421.8 billion, a profit for taxpayers of nearly $11 billion. A study by the Center for Automotive Research out today found that if GM had failed, it would have cost 1.9 million jobs and more than $39 billion in tax revenue. But Anthony, you have to wonder if the government had waited, would taxpayers have lost less? Would the stock have gone up? Well, the stock is at its high of the year, Scott. That's one thing to consider. The other thing, I think the other major reason the government did this is they made a pledge earlier that this, this year that they intended to be out of GM by the beginning of next year. And so they are. Anthony, thanks very much.